Hello, everybody. Today I'm talking about Rahu in Gandanta. Uh, Rahu transits over zero degrees of Aries, goes into Pisces on 30th of uh, October, but from 15th October onwards, it goes into the zone which is uh, called Gandanta. And uh, this is a very unstable, unsettled energy. Even though Rahu is Vargotama in Aries and then going into Pisces, this transition between Aries to Pisces is not the easiest one. And we have a one month of Gandanta for Rahu. So let us explore. Hello, this is Komela Sutton and I'm talking Rahu in Gandanta. Do remember to subscribe, press the bell notification. Rahu in Gandanta is going to be from uh, 15th October to 14th November. So Rahu is going to retrograde back from Aries to Pisces. So remember that Rahu only travels backwards. So Pisces uh, is water sign, Aries is fire sign. So whenever the planets go between fire and water, it is always a major dramatic situation. And uh, Rahu, because of its nature of going retrograde, it's first in fire sign and then it dips into water, you know? So it's like all very heated up and then he goes into water and that kind of either calms him down or totally, um, you know, takes away the energy. So we have to be aware of this transition. And the Gandanta degrees are uh, 48 minutes, not one degree, less than one degree, 48 minutes of uh, zero to 48 minutes of uh, Aries and uh, 29 degrees 12 to 30 of Pisces. So uh, Rahu is at present just about going into the Gandanta position. And he is very heated up. He's in Aries and uh, as he moves into Gandanta, he moves into uh, more instability. And uh, this is not necessarily that we ourselves can feel it directly but we need to be conscious of it because if we make our life unstable during this transit, then, uh, you know, take a long time to get us into balance. So the other point about Rahu is that Rahu is leaving Aries and going into Pisces and Rahu, because of its retrograde transit, if you think about every planet starting at zero degrees Aries, most of the planets will go direct, but Rahu will go backward. So for him, 30 degrees of Pisces is kind of the beginning of the cycle. And Pisces is the most profound spiritual energy. And Rahu thinks he knows everything. And when he goes into Pisces, he starts feeling that, okay, I'm knowing everything and uh, can make mistakes as well. So what we have to know the dates firstly, that from uh, 15th October to 30th October, Rahu is in Aries part of Gandanta, retrograding back. He, Aries, you know, can make him angry, frustrated. And uh, during this time, Mars is in Libra aspecting Rahu. And Mars is with Ketu. I already made a video about Mars Ketu. It's, uh, you know, complicated time. And so this re final retrograde of uh, Rahu in Aries uh, will also be part of the uh, lunar and solar eclipse. So solar eclipse is a Ketu eclipse that's on 14th of October. So one day after the 14th October eclipse, we have Rahu going into Gandanta. And uh, the lunar eclipse, which is on 28th of uh, October, I'll be making a separate video about it, Rahu, that is um, 
Aries eclipse and Rahu is in. That's the last hurrah for Rahu. And Rahu will be in Gandanta and Moon will be full. And it is uh, not an easy aspect. Now, I haven't mentioned Ketu here because Ketu is not going through Gandanta. Rahu Ketu don't go through Gandanta at the same time. Ketu will move back from Libra to Virgo. And that is not a Gandanta energy, but Rahu is going to cross through Gandanta. And that is what we have to be conscious of and careful of. And uh, Rahu itself is uh, uh, after 30th, Rahu will go into Pisces, into a new cycle of 18 years. Rahu will go into Pisces Gandanta on 30th of October, and he'll have 14 days in the Pisces Gandanta, and uh, that will be uh, kind of very profound and uh, unsettled as well. But then, you know, getting into a new sign, uh, Rahu will be slowly com getting comfortable in it. The big thing for all of us would be that as Rahu goes into Pisces, he is no longer influencing Jupiter. So the Guru Chandala Yoga the Jupiter-Rahu conjunction will be over and Jupiter is on its own in Aries and Rahu will go into Jupiter's sign, but Jupiter being on its own is much more easy management. Now, what I've noticed is that generally the Gandanta energy is more complicated as a planet is going through Gandanta. So 15th of uh, October to 30th of October, may be more unsettled. Obviously, 30th October, uh, Rahu is at zero degrees Aries or 30 degrees Pisces. It's right there at that no man's land. And it's you could say it's like a vortex. So it's very easy to fall into it. So what are we going to do about it? Firstly, uh, it affects all of us. So it's not connected to any sign. It's just part of the atmosphere, unsettled energy of the planets. And as you know, I've made a number of videos and I'm going to continue about October uh, problems. And uh, uh, so Rahu is one additional aspect and we are trying to uh, keep our life stable and being conscious of the eclipses and the change of time. And uh, if uh, you feel uh, totally unsettled by it, you know, try to not make it more unsettled and stay calm and careful. Now from 14th of October also is Navaratri and that is the celebration of uh, uh, the goddesses. It's nine nights of the goddess and uh, goddess Durga and the Navaratri is also a festival uh, for, for victory over negativity, overcoming uh, Goddess Durga is fighting the Mahisa Asura for nine days and 10th day on the Shara is the victory day. So one of the best remedies you could do is to worship Goddess Durga during this uh, whole period and uh, especially during the Navaratri time. And, uh, you know, uh, that would be the best uh, uh, spiritual thing. Patience, carefulness, not making any decision during this time, major decision, not destabilizing yourself, restraint. Those are always the key words. But also then you can do the prayer to Goddess Durga. I'm going to end this video with a prayer to Goddess Durga. Om Dum Durgai Namaha Om Dum Durgai Namaha Om Dum Durgai Namaha Om Sarva Mangal Mangalye Shive Sarvata Sadhike Sharanye Trambake Durge Narayani Namostute Om Shanti 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 Om Thank you.